everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we looked at applying time warps to individual clips on the reels. In this video, we'll take a closer look at applying time warps in the editorial context. We'll cover the different sequence options and how they affect the time warp timeline effects. Similar to the previous video, this video is not footage specific, so you can use your own clips to follow along. So starting with the obvious, we can retime a segment as we edit it into a sequence or after we edit it into a sequence. For example, I have a source that is marked up with a duration of 55 frames. And in the open sequence, I have marked up a duration of 115 frames. With both source and sequence marked up, this will create a fit to fill edit. In other words, when I press the overwrite button or press the O hotkey, the source clip will be stretched to match the marked up edit in the sequence. This happens when the duration of the marked up source and sequence are different. If we select the segment in the sequence and look at the effects bar, you can see it has been time warped to just under 50% of its original speed. You can now adjust the settings for rendering or interpolation if needed. Now, as I said earlier, you can retime a shot and apply time warps after the edit has been performed. For example, I'll delete this segment and go to the beginning of the edit. The positioner is my endpoint, and the source clip is already marked up from the previous edit. Once again, we'll overwrite the source clip into the sequence. So this is the original length of the edited segment. Let's call up the effects ribbon with Control Tab and apply the Time Warp Timeline effects to the segment. Now when it comes to working with time warps in the sequence, there are a couple factors that influence how the segment reacts in the sequence. If we solely focus on time warp properties, you can set the speed of the segment. For example, let's set a speed of 60% to the segment. Notice how the segment has a speed change, but the segment stays the same duration in the sequence. This is caused by the anchor point which defaults to start or the first frame of the segment. With the first frame of the segment locked by the anchor, the time warp is applied and the first frame is always the same. Whatever happens after is a consequence of the time warp. The same can be said for anchoring the end frame that is an option in the pull down menu. However, we'll undo the speed change and this time we'll set the anchor to lock the start and end frames of the segment. In other words, I want to time stretch the segment, but whatever I do, I always want to start on the same first frame and end on the same last frame. By having the anchor locked to the start and end frames of the segment, when the speed is set to 60% again, the segment grows in the sequence. So these are your first two choices. Either time warp the segment but retain its original duration, or time warp the segment and it will stretch to the corresponding length of the speed change. The other editorial aspect that does affect time warping is trimming. The big question is, what happens to the time warp speed when we trim the segment? Once again, you have two choices. You can trim the segment and keep the same time warp speed. Or you can trim the segment and the time warp speed will change to match the new length. I need to mention at this point that the anchor options do not influence trimming as it's an editorial operation. So let's look at the first choice. Ensure we are in trimming mode. When the keyframe move mode is set to shift with media, as you trim the segment, the time warp stays locked at 60%. The segment stretches, however this is just a repeat frame at the end of the media. We'll undo this trim operation and look at the second choice. Set the keyframe move mode to reposition proportionately. As before, when we trim the segment, it stretches in the sequence. However, notice that the time warp speed is getting slower. So as the segment is being stretched, the speed of the clip is decreasing. So you can choose whether or not you adjust the time warp as you trim the segment. 
Please note that the keyframe move modes apply to all timeline effects animations and not just time warps. So this concludes how the editorial context can influence how your time warps behave as you edit and trim the segments in the sequence. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.